Okay, so a couple of days ago, I've seen these very cool visuals from Bonnie200 posted on Creative Code Art, which is a very nice channel I follow here on Instagram. And I found these visuals really neat and I was inspired to recreate the same exact visuals in Max, see if it was possible. The original ones are made in Touch Designer with using Media Pipe for the hand and face recognition. So I thought about giving it a go in Max and see if I could remake it exactly equal as this. So let's see what I got. So yeah, as you can see, when you blink, a new image of the left eye appears, right? This is the left one. And then you can use your hand to rotate those eyes. And then you close your hand, they go back to the original position, to the source position, let's say. And you can rotate the, the eyes and the ball using your hand. And for that, I use Media Pipe, like in the original. Um, the original one is made with Touch Designer and Media Pipe. And in this one, I use Max for the visuals and media pipe for the gesture, face, and uh, hand recognitions. And I've used this version made by Litstexic. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video for this post on the Max forum, but here you can find all his um, work on transferring media pipe, Google media pipe code to JWeb or Node for Max. So this is very cool. I really use it for a lot of stuff because it really works very well. So I wanted to kind of homage the original video from Bonnie 200 um, by remaking it in Max. Uh, maybe you let me know in the comments if you think like this is really uncool. It's not nice to copy other people's work. But for me, this is more like an exercise, more like a little challenge, a little game to see if I can redo something uh, exactly the same in Max. Um, the patch is on my Patreon, so you can check out, I did it um, from my Patreon, you can download it with a professional patcher tier. It's actually not really, like, it's not really, oh, what's going on here? It's not really, like, crazy complex, there is uh, the media pipe for the hand and face uh, positions, and then there is GGM multiple for the eyes, textures, maybe the interesting thing is that I modified GGM texture set, and I gave it a dump textures function to output the name of all the textures at once uh, to feed to GGL multiple. Otherwise, nothing really, nothing really super crazy. So if you want to check it out, this is on my Patreon. And again, if you think this is really uncool, I should not copy other people's work. I should do something original myself, uh, which I intend to do. But uh, I found this one really cool. So I just wanted to give it a go, see if I could make it. it took me some time and I think I kind of remade it exactly the same. So, well, that's it. I will see you soon with the video tutorials or some more patches. Let's see. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and uh, take care. See you soon. Ciao.